1954, something incredible was invented in America, the solar panel. They were considered the magic mirrors that could capture sunlight and turn it into electricity. But while America came up with this brilliant invention, it was China that really knew how to make the most of it. It was one of the first countries to see the great potential of solar panels and turned this idea into something huge, making lots and lots of solar panels for everyone to use. Fast forward to today, and China has become the superstar of solar panels. They control more than 80% of all the solar panels that are made in the whole world. On the other hand, the United States, even though they invented solar panels, they don't make many of the important parts needed to build them. But they're not giving up that easily. Stay tuned, as today we will be discussing the rise of US invention in solar panels, China's ascent in solar panel manufacturing, and lastly, future prospects for the US solar industry. The silicon photovoltaic solar cell, the regular black and copper solar panel you see on rooftops and solar farms, actually came from America. Back in 1954, three clever American engineers working at Bell Labs found out that when sunlight touches silicon wafers, electrons start moving around freely. And with that, in the 1960s and 70s, American companies became champions in the solar world. In 1978, these American companies controlled a massive 95% of the solar market all around the world. But after a while, things changed. The United States doesn't make many solar panels anymore, even though there's a huge demand for them. In the 1980s, Japan became a leader in the industry, and later China took over. Today, only one of the top 10 solar cell makers in the world is from America. Now, China has a big advantage in making solar panels because they control everything needed to make them all around the world. They spend a lot more money on solar manufacturing than both the US and the EU combined, almost 10 times more. Out of the top 10 solar manufacturers in the world, seven are from China and only one is from America. That's a huge difference and it affects the type of energy each country uses. In China, solar energy makes up about 12% of all the electricity they use. But in the US, it's just about 3.4%. China really wanted to use a lot of solar energy and set big goals for it. This idea inspired other countries too, and now clean energy is a serious option for the whole world, not just a fun experiment. And by 2030, China wants to have a lot of wind and solar power, enough to cover all the electricity the US uses right now. But making all that power is just the beginning. They need to send it to where people live and work. So China built super strong power lines that can carry lots of electricity. These special power lines go from the west, where they make the energy, to the east, where people and industries use it. President Xi Jinping also made a plan to make China carbon neutral by 2060. He thinks they need a green revolution, especially after COVID-19, to develop in a way that's good for the environment. China wants to reach big goals in the next 10 years, like reducing carbon emissions, and by 2060, they want to have zero carbon emissions. That's a huge challenge, and no country has done it yet, especially not one as big as China. You see, as the world moves away from fossil fuels, China is working hard to be the leader in clean energy. They want to change how they get energy and also create a supply chain for it. This could make other countries rely too much on China for energy. And this reliance on China has caused some tension. Last year, because of COVID-related issues, the price of solar panels went up for the first time in a long while. While some companies are worried about reports of human rights abuses in Xinjiang, a place in China where they make a lot of materials for solar panels, they don't want to support businesses involved in such issues. The Chinese government and the solar industry say these accusations are not true, but people in the West are still worried. Another concern is that China controls a lot of the materials needed for batteries, like cobalt from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Some people think this could make the world too dependent on China. However, there's one area where the US is in a good position. They have something called silica sand, which is important for making solar energy. 
The U.S. sells about $470 million worth of this material, and China needs a lot of it. So they buy it from the U.S., Australia, and Indonesia. Now, while the United States has the raw materials like silica sand, they don't have any manufacturers that can make the wafers and cells needed for solar panels. China, on the other hand, is really good at making solar panels. They can do it faster and cheaper than others, which is why many U.S. solar manufacturers buy parts from China and then assemble everything in the U.S. The way China made solar panels cheaper and still good quality was by doing things differently. They built huge plants, much bigger than what the U.S. did at the start. They also used new methods, like use of robots, to make the panels. These big plants had less people working, but they could make a lot more solar panels quickly. Also, the Inflation Reduction Act is a really big deal for the U.S. It's the largest investment ever made to fight climate change and move towards clean energy. The act was passed in August 2022, and it aims to help us switch to cleaner ways of making energy. To make more solar panels, the U.S. is giving rewards to encourage people to use them and tax credits to companies that make solar parts here. In the past, they didn't have a strong plan to support this kind of manufacturing. But with the Inflation Reduction Act, they finally have a plan to help solar and storage manufacturing in the U.S. The Inflation Reduction Act is already making a big impact. The largest solar panel manufacturer in the U.S., First Solar, decided to spend $1.2 billion to increase their manufacturing capacity by 75%. This means they'll be able to make a lot more solar panels right there in the US. But still China is way ahead in this area, and some people wonder if the US should spend some more money to catch up. It might be tough to reach the same level as China, but the US can still learn and do some things on its own. And how can we forget that energy is important for everything we do? From using electricity at households and offices, transportation and infrastructure, to communications and agriculture. It's part of everything. And now we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments. Do subscribe to the channel if you like our content. We will catch you in the next one. Bye.